how are you guys doing today? Hey, today we are going to be a braid and be brilliant transfer. And we're actually going to put like our, our little floral uh, border around it. And so last night I came, it was, and I did this in the ombre. So tonight we're going to do a, a tie dye effect, hopefully. Hopefully it turns out. Uh, newbie, just type in new, and I'd like to welcome all you guys. And um, if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. And I appreciate you being here and sprinkling and sharing the love with the um, um, starter kit. This is actually one of our starter kits. Uh, and we have about, I don't know, six to nine of them for about 20 bucks. But I want to come on and show you a different way to use it, of course. Um, so we'll see how that works out. This, I just want so it's still drying there. Um, but, guys, thanks for joining. I haven't said that. <laughs> it's raining outside. So if you guys, um, hopefully it doesn't affect my um, video. But let's get started. So uh, this is on our chalkboards. And guys, when you get these chalkboards, uh, you can just purchase it separately, or it comes with the uh, starter kit if you're a club member, or it comes with uh, the designer kit um, if you do want to do what I do. But guys, our chalkboards are great. You don't have to pre prep them or anything. They come ready to go. Um, way to get started, because you don't have to remember any rules. You don't have to do anything. Basically, you just sing. And it's your products is um, involved, you get to just experiment with this little tie dye method and after splash and peony. So we'll see how we like them all mixed together and um, see if it comes out tie dye or not. It should be fun though. So tell me how your is it Tuesday? Mine is actually going really, really well, and I'll tell you why, and I think that all women can relate to this. She does a great job with my hair. We talk everything from, you know, our dating lives to uh, politics. So, thankfully, we can all kind of, we both agree on the politics thing, or it might be a little weird. My, my hair might not, you know, doing your hair is just something that, so, what you're going to do is kind of get my case ready. Take, it, take its own personality because um, this is definitely a project uh, when you're doing the tie-dye, anything, right? Um, you kind of have to let go of control factor and just kind of hope, cross your fingers and hope it turns out to something that you kind of like, right? So, let's get started and see. We're going to do both the uh, transfer, the border, and the, the words in a tie-dye. So, I'm just going to, like, literally just lay out some pink here. Then go back through and just lay out the other color. The great thing is, you get to see if you actually like it or not. And want to do it. Want to do it yourself at home. So, uh, um, let's see. I'm not really putting much thought into it. I'm just making sure I kind of have all three colors um, in place here. And guys, um, it doesn't take much, so um, just have fun with it. And this is another great one for the kids, right? Because then you don't really have to worry about um, is it going to turn out or not. So I'm just going to take my squeegee here, and I'm just going to go through all the colors. They're already coming out real, real pretty. So, last time color, and it not just as pretty. So, we'll see. I know it's a, a lot less time, so I'm just going to take this little empty jar and put my paste in, because you don't want to, I want to save it for later, but I don't want to put it back in with the, its own little, it kind of turned like a, I don't know, kind of a greenish pink, maybe? Get all your excess and okay. A little area right here that I didn't get. Paste top to bottom, left to right, and then pull them up. So, aw, that turned out real pretty. See how easy that is and how fun. Okay, 
So guys, I would just I'm just gonna take this to my sink and I'm going to uh, wash it off with just water. And once it's washed off, I can uh, let it set the sticky side up, let it dry, and then once the sticky side, the shiny side, once it's dry, put it back on the backer sheet with the shiny side and the sticky side together. Okay. Just gonna put that off to the side, and then we're gonna dry it. Look how cute that turned out. Guys, are you doing anything fun this week? I see a lot of people going on vacations and having a good time, going out to the lake and having fun. That's a pretty tie dye. That turned out really pretty. Especially with all those different colors. Okay. Now we're just going to take, and guys, we have so many of these uh, for 5x7s. So you could change out these little wordings all the time and leave your just leave your border. Um, but these, you know, the guys, these start out like ten dollars, so they're pretty inexpensive um, for you to for you to get started uh, and have fun with it. And I'm just going to kind of center it here, use the border um, as my center. Maybe I think it's actually a little bit larger than my border. So I'll take it up and. But I like this little be bold, be brave, and be brilliant. It's just kind of a triple threat type of deal, right? So I, uh, my daughter is a triple threat. Like she was athletic, she's smart, she's funny, she's beautiful. That's more than three, but so I know we all have someone in our life that's a little bit of a triple threat. I'm just gonna put just a little bit on there, um, and just fun to be around, and just inspires you just to be a better person, right? So that's always a good thing. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more purple and green over in this corner. So again, no rhyme or reason, just kind of get it laid out how you want and go through it. This is so fun, just seeing how the colors are turning out. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. It's funny how this mess turns out different from uh, what's actually on the chalkboard. So, take that. I'm just going to take this up. And guys, this is going to be another quick one. but. Fun for sure. Aw, oh, it's really pretty. I like the tie dye. How many of you guys into tie dye? Tie dye has come back again. I don't know how many times tie dye has actually been uh, popular in my lifetime, but it seems to make its rounds. You know, every uh, couple. Of Thanks for joining. Look how look how pretty that turned out. In surfaces, it's a nine by twelve. And um, you know, when I get done with this, when I get done with this image, and I want to do a different one. I simply take water and wipe it off and do another one. But until then, it's on there. Like I can I wipe it, I can dust it um, for your home to create home decor. So I don't even know if I've introduced myself today. So hi guys, I'm Mandy Ross with Gwen's Foxy Nest and I'm here to inspire you guys to have the foxiest nest um, with um, I'm a chalk couture independent designer. And so I just like to get on here have fun, show you guys how to use our products, and, um, you know, find different ways to, to enjoy them, um, and, and like the tie-dye, or different colors, or the, the ombre, so you guys can know um, how to kind of do your do your projects in, in your home. So guys, if you want um, the products that I use today, I will put them down in the comments. Um, if you want to be in a subscription club that you actually get a transfer and some paste packets each month, uh, type in club. And uh, if you want to do what I'm doing, just type in join and I'll get you guys the information. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, Veronica, thank you so much for joining. It, it did turn out really cute. <laughs> Bye.